All right, kids, it is time for the sermon in a box. And so I'm going to invite all the kids who are willing to come and join me here up front. If you're a visitor with us, what we do every week is one child from the congregation uh, puts something in the box and then slides it to me. That was a good slide. And then we see what's in the box. And we try to find a lesson about God's word, about Jesus, uh, from what we have in the box. And it's good to have visitors with us. Thanks for joining us this morning. All right, what do we have in the sermon in a box? We have a cup, not a cup you drink from so much, but a measurement cup. It's something you use when you're cooking that you measure out and the recipe tells you you need one cup of sugar or you need one cup of flour. And so you can measure this and then that goes and you make sure you follow the recipe and it works out the way that it should, though sometimes it doesn't. Hmm. Are there any measurements in the Bible? There are no, not maybe any measurement cups, but there are measures. You know, God tells his people to, in the Old Testament to build a house. And it's a house for him because he wants to dwell with his people. He wants to live with his people. He wants to be close to them. And he tells them to build a tabernacle. And he gives them all sorts of specific measurements for how that house was supposed to be built, for how that recipe was supposed to be put together. And it can be really strange to read that in the Bible. There's all these measurements that we don't understand, and they seem really boring, and we, our eyes glaze over, and we say, let's get to some exciting stories. But those measurements are important. Because you know what they tell us? They tell us that God wants to be with us. That God is committed to making his home with us. That he wants to be near to us. And he's so committed to that. He has his people build that house. And then that shows us, that points us to Jesus, who is even better than the house. And Jesus is God with us. And Jesus has a love for us that cannot be measured. It can't be measured. It overflows this cup. And in Jesus, God always comes to live with us. That was a great sermon in the box. Thank you. That was a good one. All right. Matthew and Tina, can I?